Namaste beautiful yogis, welcome to Ali Kamenova Yoga. I'm Ali and today we're doing a class in the Pilates program called Ui Gui Transitions. For this class you're going to need optional, all of it is optional, but it will juicify your practice, um, ankle weights and or cans. Now if you have two sets of ankle weights, you can uh, wrist weights, ankle weights, you can put them on your wrist and your ankles in your set. Otherwise I'm using cans so that you can see, you can grab water bottles, cans, bean cans, coconut cans, tomato cans, etc. You can have prepared a pillow, a, blank, a roll blanket, roll your mat, a bolster or kind of a, a, a lotus or a meditation pillow uh, for the ui guiness towards the end, for the stretchy abs part, back part. So if you don't have the weights, please join. It's just going to challenge you anyways, but if you have the weights, add them, it's gonna add a layer, add a dimension to your yoga and Pilates and heat and weightlifting practice. This is a different type of weightlifting. The whole program is on my website. This is the last class, the closing of the program. So I wanted to share it on here with everybody. But it is, a, I'm focusing in this program on a different aspect of strength. It is a very fluid connective tissue, um, stabilizing muscles strength. It is strength nonetheless. We are building strength. <laughs> I have to, I have to flex, but it is, um, it is a different type of strength. It is very fluid, very uh, connected strength, let's call it. Uh, this class is going, I wanted to go with the, kind of the themes of the classes have been loosey-goosey, uh, glowy, growy, <laughs> stuff like that. Uh, so this is ui right? Um, and let's begin and let's flow with love, strength and ease. Starting with our optional weights, I invite you to grab your weights if you have the weights, if not just do it as is. Um, as I've mentioned in this program, the wider grip also helps with hand strength, so it's okay that it's not as, as thin and compact as uh, dumbbells, but you can use dumbbells. All right, let's begin with standing on the right leg, left leg circles behind, and we're gonna dance it out. So you're gonna fly, bird, bird movement, fluid, ballet, etc., and bring it to the front. Same side, we're gonna go on the same side a few times, two. Three. Four. Five. Six, seven, eight, this gives you endurance, nine, and ten, opposite side, one, two, And ten, and we're going to move back and forth on the mat with the arms in front of us again. Fluid movement, walking in place, so to speak. From here, we're going to step onto the right leg and lift the leg behind us. One, arms in front. Two, three. 
opposite side. Ten. All right, let's deepen it. Right leg standing on the right. Straight back, and we're going to reach almost in one straight line over the head, the arms, and the leg kind of follows that trajectory. From here, you can bring your weights near your chest, extend your arms down, touch the floor in a straight, hinging at the hips movement. And let's do a few more on the same side. Two. Three. Four. Five. Opposite side. It's a full body move. One. Two. Three. Four. And five. Stepping at the front, we're going to take the left leg out and two into plie. Open the arms out and we're going to stretch. Now I want you to have your weight slightly or your hands slightly in front of the shoulder. So not directly out. I want you to have a little bit of a forward position. And when you reach out, it will be slightly forward, slightly in front of you, slightly in front of you. Let's go. One, you can pose with the legs and you can, or you can stay steady too. Three, four, Five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. All right, circles. You're going to draw circles with either your fingertips or your weights. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Forward or reverse them. From here, we're gonna bring the weight in front of us, or our hands, and out. One, two, three, four. Now for the next ones, we're gonna move the head. One, look over to your right. Two, left. Three, right, left, and so forth. Moving the eyes with, with the direction of the at the direction of the hands. And time to step at the front. Inhale, reach over the head. Lift, exhale, straight back, forward fold. You can leave your weights down, forward fold, hang here. Wrap your wrists around the waist, uh, uh, elbows, and just let your head hang. Inhale, look ahead and onto all fours. Left hand grabs a weight, right leg pressing up, and we're going to reach with the left hand forward. And as we pose the leg, we're going to open the arm out and back forward. One, two, stabilize the belly, the core. Four, five, 
six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Great. Opposite side. Really focus on stabilizing breathing, keeping the hips level as much as possible and really being aware of your posture, of your alignment, of your position in space. Spatial awareness. It opens a layer of consciousness, basically. <laughs> All right, opposite side. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, squeeze and flex, 12. All right, let's make it a touch more involved. Spread the fingers on the right hand, grab your weight with the left hand, tuck your toes under, lift your knees off the floor, and we're going to take the left hand or left arm out, right leg out, knee to elbow out. Now, if you're wobbling way too much, and you're getting angry <laughs> and calling me names, <laughs> then you can place your knee on the floor and just really feel, feel the core. But if you wanna, you know, tough it out, <laughs> then, uh, then get the knees off the floor. It's more difficult for sure. <laughs> One, two, three four and five all right opposite side same thing applies we're going to either leave the knees off the floor or not one two three four and five all right we're gonna move into plank right leg, left arm, and we're going to bring the knee to elbow and extend one, two, three, four, five, change, one, two, three, four, five, good. From here, Onto the right knee, extend the left leg out, and you're going to reach over the head, give it a good stretch. Again, the hand is slightly in front of the shoulder, and you're going to bring the weight or the hand to your foot, and then stretch it, arch it, rainbow it. One, two, you can double pad the mat too, so make yourself comfortable, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Woo! Amazing. The stretch is so good on this one. Opposite side. One. Stretch it out, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. All right, you probably know it, but we're gonna take it up a notch and side plank with your weight. Spread the fingers open or go back to the previous exercise. Stretch it out, touch it. One, two, three, four. Very important to stretch it in between.
All right, opposite side. Stretch it out, moving forward. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Amazing. Now, take your pillow. Bolster is probably the most effective because it just holds its shape. And you're going to bring it underneath your rib cage with your weights prepared. And we are going to prop ourselves onto the bolster, so upper body under the armpits, onto the bolster, press your feet down for support and balance, and, and we're going to press up and bring the elbows in, press up, elbows in, one, two, three, Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. All right, one more on the bolster or onto an elevated surface, such as a pillow. You are going to let's bring it underneath. We're going to lower down onto onto the back and you can slight slide a uh, block would work here too um, you're going to slide the bolster underneath uh, a pillow would work any elevated surface a yoga block would work for this one too you're going to slide it underneath your tailbone bring your left knee in and let the saw stretch here this is kind of like a chiropractic stretch where they get your leg off the table. That's the best way to access it. And change. So for this particular one, keep your hips square. And let's bring the right weight into the, uh, take weight, uh, the weight with your right hand. Reach over the head, but not all the way, so you can keep the, uh, the weight suspended midair. And we're going to bring right arm to left. Here in my case, I would do uh, elbow to knee, but you can just touch the toes or anything in between, whatever you feel uh, like. And elongate. Two, elongate. Three, four, five, six, Seven, eight, nine, and last one, ten. Change sides. One, two, Six, last one, 
all right from here bring your legs up now if you're not using any elevation that's also okay otherwise place it in a comfortable way underneath your tailbone and we're going to press the heels open the toes out press the heels in one two three four five six seven eight nine ten and now move your heels in heels out so you're gonna open and close the feet and really engage the core bring your hands onto your lower belly feel feel it working <laughs> it's absolutely amazing great from here let's do one more stretch stretch the left leg bring the right knee in <sighs> opposite side stretches through the front Let's lay on to the side here and we're gonna split the legs uh, open, right leg forward, laying on to the right side. Suspended weight, again, you don't want it too far out where it, uh, it's too, too wide range for the shoulder, kind of somewhere me there. And we're going to reach and lower with control and a little bit of elongation. and change Now press the left leg behind you, right leg in front of you, so scissor them. Uh, the opposite, and we're going to pose here. One, two, three, four, five. You can make the pose bigger. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Ooh. Change sides. And we're going to pose here. Laying onto the right side, left leg forward, right back, split them as comfortable as you're gonna find your own position as you feel it in your body. And let's go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Great. Oof quick stretch for the back here so you're gonna bring your el elongation if it's a block just underneath your uh, between your shoulder blades otherwise from the tailbone up and you're gonna lay for a moment here just for that opening you can press the top of the tongue into the roof of the mouth for this one See how that can adjust your jaw. Create a little bit of tension in your chest and shoulders here on the inhalation. And as you exhale, release it and the contrast of the two will help you to release it a little better. So let's inhale with tension. Just tense a little bit in the chest and shoulders. Exhale. All right, a little bit of intervals before I let you go. Roll onto your side. 
prop yourself up. You can you can lose the you can lose the bolster plank. Here you can walk in and out or jump in and give me a, a right to the left a knee, a knee tuck or foot tuck left to the right. So I'll demonstrate it. Jump, jump, jump. And keep going. Speed it up. Great. All right. On to the forearms and knees, and we're going to. Extend the right leg and lift one, two, three, four, five. Rainbow, so one over to the left, reverse two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. 10 circles with five circles in one direction, five changing with the right foot. One, two, three, four, five change. Bring the knee in, extend. One, two, three, four, five, Six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Bent knee, straight up. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Change. Straight leg. One. Eight nine, ten rainbows. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Five circles in each direction. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. Knee in. Extend one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Straight up, heel up, bend knee. One, two, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. And spread the legs open. Here you can use the bolster or a block in front of you. A little bit of fluid. Great, for the next one, optional, your weights. We're going to, again, slightly in front of your shoulder, one and opposite side, and let the weight slightly assist you here in the stretch. You can hold it or you can move through it the fluid way, the ooey gooey way. All right. 
let's take the, the weights off. Pigeon, right leg forward, straighten, lengthen, elongating the back, hold here. Nice, releasing breath, the breath teaches us. It is in an assistant here on earth. It is a connection. We connect into the network through the breath. There is a um, universal, pu universal pulse and the breath can unify with the universal pulse, can bring us into the pulse of the cosmic pulse. I call this class transitions, we go transitions because I've shared on Instagram, I've been listening to certain, um, a lot of uh, um, interviews on PMS, perimenopause and menopause, all the fluid transitional times in uh, life, in a woman's life. Uh, there is a variation of male menopause, I forgot the name. Uh, but I think obviously uh, with the PMS and everything, uh, a woman can experience it quite intensely. I think a man too, it's just, a, it's just there is differences in everybody. So the point is with all these transitions, those are rebirths, those are um, gateways, portals, a woman birthing herself a woman choosing to open a door to rebirth, to uh, expand, to grow. And, and because it is so intense, the intensity brings that growth. And nowadays there is a strong also movement of saying birth can be orgasmic and not painful. And although that very much can be true. On the, in the same way birth sometimes and often and most of the time times is meant to be intense. Even when you bury uh, a seed in the soil, the process of the seed dying in order to push through the soil, through the darkness, towards the sun, towards consciousness, towards the light, that process is intense and the intensity breeds or brings about growth. So even though birth metaphorically or literally can be easy or pleasant or orgasmic, it also most of the time for a reason is intense, especially metaphoric birth. <laughs> Whenever we're birthing into a new us, I'm in a transitional time in my own life as I transition from one person to another, I'm birthing a new person and it could be a long process, but, and I'm sure birth can be very easy, but at the same time, we have to not expect that. If that happens, great. But if it doesn't, also great. Growth comes out of intensity. And you can go over to the other side. So that's the transitions. They don't have to be the classic transitions of menopause or motherhood or even PMS. They can be uh, transitions in life where we transition from one person to another.
and the intensity typically allows us to have better understanding of the self, better self-reflection, deeper knowing of the self. So where there is a need for growth, life will present us with intensity. And I would have to guess that we almost all of the time need to grow in some of the areas in our life. So this is just an invitation, instead of us resisting um, intensity, sometimes we call them challenges, is to have gratitude and, and to answer the calling to accept the challenge with excitement and gratitude. We're always in a process of growth. If we don't grow, we quite certainly die. We deteriorate, we uh, stagnate. Stagnation breeds atrophy. So we do want to be in the process of growth, as pleasant as possible, but growth. Hence the name of the class, Uigui. Uigui signifies pleasant. All right, Uigui transitions. Great. Let's bring the knees behind us and indulge ourselves in a few fluid moves here. So we're going to be on all fours and just move in a circular fashion or in a wave-like fashion, snake-like or whatever, just wave, wavy. Great, and lay down, legs up into plow. Shoulder stand. Happy baby. Soles of the feet together. Supine twist. Change. and lay down. Allowing yourself to flow in the absence of resistance, in the presence of grace, with love, strength and ease. Namaste.